Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 23, and this is war number 10, and we're going up against an alliance called Spiritus Sancti. I think I said that right. Uh, anyway, uh, this is the team I'm going in with, Warlock, Black Widow, Clairvoyant, and Nick Fury. Uh, I didn't bring Corvus this time because of the defenders on the path. I didn't feel like I could get enough uh, charges, and although he would have been a good uh counter to some of the defenders so were some of these guys that i brought with me all right so first up is red hulk yes corvus could have taken this red hulk but so could pretty much anyone that i have on my team okay um he's not a stubborn defender so uh i decided to go in with nick fury just because i like nick fury and can bleed this guy um, but i could have also done it with uh black widow clairvoyant she has class disadvantage. So I said, you know what? I want to keep, and just in case something crazy happens, which it can on uh, this node, I didn't want to bring in Warlock because I knew I was going to need him later in section two. All right, so uh, Red Hulk is really easy to fight. Uh, if you've had to fight him uh, in his more beefed out form in Labyrinth of Legends, you're not going to be scared of this Red Hulk. All right, there's a reason that they place defenders like this on the early nodes, because the early nodes, especially on the left-hand side, which I take, they're easier. All right, so you don't want to put your really tough defenders on some of these easier nodes. All right, so uh, I cleared my path, and the uh, mini was cleared. So now we're going to head on over to section two. And I only had one fight in section one. This is actually gonna be a, a shorter war video and I didn't clear that many. Uh, they just went ahead and did like a nice little clean sweep. So I'm gonna be fighting long shot. Now in section two, the strike counter is a little different. This is a strike counter uh, that deals with your power gain. So you will very easily get suppressed to the point where you cannot fire any specials because you can't gain any power. So it's good to go into this uh, path with someone who doesn't really need to fire their specials. And it's great because since I run suicides, I don't really want to fire off a lot of specials anyway. So Nick Fury, once again, is an MVP and Longshot is just getting bled, bled down. Now you see I'm backing off because I do not want to push him to a special two. All right, I'm just trying to get him to fire it, but then he fires, he gets a special two anyway. And I was so upset. I'm just like, why would he not fire his special uh, two or a special one? But it didn't do any damage. So we came out with most of our health. I, when I when he pushed, uh, got to a special two, I honestly thought that that special two was gonna take away Nick Fury's uh, life. And the real Nick Fury was gonna have to come out and finish the fight. I really did. Um, but I didn't do enough, uh, I guess, uh, you know, buffs or anything like that. So I don't really know Longshot all that well. And I have the six star. But I don't like fighting against him, especially that special two. All right. So now we're going to be fighting Omega Red. Now, Omega Red uh, is, he can be very nasty. But Warlock is a beast against him, especially. All right, because uh, Warlock is a robot, the spores are not going to build up on him very quickly and they're gonna drop off pretty quickly. All right, so I'm not having to play that dance of, you know, do a full combo and then do only like a three hit and try to back away and hope the AI is not being overly aggressive. Uh, don't have to worry about that with Warlock. And you'll notice I'm trying to do a lot of parries. That's to get those infections up and uh, just basically a, a regular fight uh, against him. I don't even have to manage the spores, you know, and you can see that I have those suppression counters and I'm not gaining, not going to gain any power, but it doesn't matter. He's almost gone and Warlock just finishes him off. Very nice, easy, straightforward fight with Warlock. Now, if I had not had Warlock, you know, say I went up against that Red Hulk and lost my Warlock, it would have been a little bit more rough, okay? Um, I could have done it, 
with uh, Black Widow, Clairvoyant, uh, or even Nick Fury. Not ideal, though, with Nick Fury, but Black Widow could have done it. All right, so uh, the boss got cleared, and I got poked along with uh, my alliance mate. We both run suicides, so we don't really want to go up against Void. However, uh, I have a couple of options going against Void. I can either go with Warlock. He's a robot, so he's immune to my bleed and poison from the um, Suicide Masteries. But uh, I would definitely have to play it, you know, and, and it's great for Buffet, too. See that regen he just got? That's from Buffet. But I decided to go in with Nick Fury and basically just, you know, use up that life. Um, he's also a stubborn defender which is another reason I like to use uh, Nick Fury against Stubborn Defenders. All right, and you see I'm just letting that bleed tick down, and he knew it, and boom, done. Yes, we lost that one life, but we had that life to give. And that's what I was planning on, uh, just full aggression mode, you know, get him down. I knew that I was going to most likely lose the first life, but then the second life, I was pretty sure I would get him down before that. I was trying not to dex, just trying to parry and uh, go in and uh, don't really want to dex anyway because of the stubborn. All right, so that is going to do it for my participation in this war. Uh, as you can see, I got to Mini Boss Island here and they're almost done. Uh, the only mini is that Killmonger on Hazard Shift and Thing in the upper right hand corner. Now, I wasn't sure what the plan was here, so I stayed right there where you see me in case I was called upon to help with the Killmonger. But we have someone that does that fight very, very well, brings a counter for it, so they are usually the one that will take it. However, if they fail, I want to be there. So basically, I'm on backup at this point and just waiting. If someone tags me, then I'll come in. Uh, that thing on that one there. Now, the real Nick Fury is out, so I don't have a, a lot of leeway like I enjoy having. Uh, I don't really have a evade counter. So someone else uh, ended up taking that fight that brought in a proper counter. You know, our, our backup often just waits for this and they'll be told, all right, you need to bring a counter for Killmonger on Hazard Shift and a counter for Thing, you know, on that uh, node there. Uh, that's one of the reasons uh, that they are on backup. They usually have very, very large rosters. And so they can come in with a variety of counters. All right. Uh, so that's it for this portion of the Alliance War. Uh, I don't actually remember how we did on this one. So I'm about to find out when I come back. Uh, but I'm doing this video after the fact, uh, quite a bit after the fact. I'm, I'm somewhat caught up uh, with my Alliance War videos. Uh, but I was supposed to do this video last night. And I'm ending up doing it this morning. And I have some other things I need to do, so I wanted to get this done uh, so you guys could have that video this morning. All right, so I'll be right back, and we will both find out how we ended up in this war. And we're back, and as you can see, we won this war. Now, the plan going forward, they're going to be monitoring our wins and our status, and a decision is going to be made uh, probably after this war, a little bit later on, or maybe the next war, what we're going to do for the rest of the season. So we're pretty firm in Platinum 4, and I know we were close at one point in time to Platinum 3. So what we're waiting for right now is word uh, from the officers whether we're going to try to make a push to Platinum 3, whether it even makes any sense. Uh, and if we're not going to do a push for Platinum 3, we're going to save items, relax, and just do some boss rushes for 
the next couple of wars. You know, we don't have but two wars left. All right. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.